Buttons are one of the most important things in a product or game. They allow the user to do different things, or to go to different menus. So this is why it's important to make sure your buttons look as good as possible. The most important part of making buttons look nice, in my opinion, is something I call responsiveness. That means that if you hover over a button, the button gets bigger, changes color, gets an outline, etc. Or when you click on the button, it makes a sound or has a special effect. For example, look at this code. The button has no effect when you hover over it. But if we make some simple tweaks, we can end up with something like this. This code is very simple, but it makes the button so much better. The second thing I like to do if a button looks bad is rounding out the corners. Of course, you can have straight lines, Minecraft, Windows 10, and so many other programs pull it off super well. But if you're stuck for ideas, I'd always recommend duplicating the costume, rounding the corners out, and seeing if it works. And if it doesn't work out, you can always go back to before. One tip for running the corners out is drawing a diagonal line by holding down shift along the corners and using the shape tool to make the rounded corners. Then remove the original corners. Sometimes I actually like to use buttons without a box and it's just text and sometimes an icon. Games like Celeste, KSP1 and so much more use these buttons in their main menus. Though they might choose to use the normal box buttons in other menus. So here's how you can make these buttons. First, cut the text you want for the button. If you're using the default scratch font, I like to increase the outline to 2. Then, make the icon. I find that the icon takes a bit of time, but looks really nice when done right. And if you're stuck on ideas, you can always google some examples. Then finally, make an invisible box around the text, so that you can click on the button without having to aim at the text part. You can do this by lowering the opacity of the box to 1% and changing the color to something that blends in with the background. If you don't have an opacity slider, check out this video or go to turboop.org. So that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, you might like this video about how to get rid of lag on your scratch products. And feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, have a great rest of your day.